Today is the moment we've been waiting for with Viborg. We've got a two-legged Champions League qualifier, but most importantly, if we get through this tie, we are guaranteed group stage football in one of the European competitions. It does not get bigger than this for Viborg. We've got transfer news, we've got league action, we've got more in the meantime, but let's get into the big games. It's Hammerby v Viborg. <laughs> Yes, hello and welcome along to part 28 of Rebuilding Viborg with me, Daniel. We are back today for our second Champions League qualifier after passing the Legia Warsaw test last time. We've got new additions to the squad, but not in time to play this game. But they're agreed, there's good players coming in, and against Hammerby, we are going to be in for one hell of a stern test. Aside, we faced in our first stint of this save when with Helsingborg over in Sweden. We know they're good, we know they're strong. But can we come out on top? If we do, we're guaranteed a place in the Europa Conference group stages. So if you like the sound of that and you're looking forward to seeing if we can do it, please do add a thumbs up and subscribe for daily FM22 content. There's links in the eye above to all the other playlists, including the Hemel save, which is having one hell of a dramatic end to the season. There's also links to the other platforms down in the description below, as well as ways to support the channel too. But let's get straight into this. There's transfer news. We mentioned it last time. The director of football made an offer. He's agreed to join. Luca Cannell, star of Bangor City, star of Cliftonville. I'm pretty sure we had him in a head coach last year as well. Has come from Hull City for 450 grand. Four grand a week. He's a quality player. And he will replace Toxfard pretty competently, I'd expect. I'm not giving up hope on getting him yet. But what a player. Natural left-footedness gives us a bit of balance in that midfield. I'm so happy to see him. What a name. What a history. And hopefully a strong future too. And then add to that Matthew Real, who we've pre-agreed a deal for Orlando City. He's out of contract in the winter, but they only want about 250 grand. So I think we'll just get ahead and do it. He is a 27-year-old left-back. He's a big upgrade on Schroeder. And he's a really high quality pro too. Can cover right back, can cover centre half. He's six foot, he's got those physical attributes. He's a really good addition. So happy with those two coming in. It gives us a really strong squad. And at the moment, touch wood, fingers crossed, there's no players going out of note. Certainly from the first 11. We did play one game at the weekend off camera. It was against Vegel, a newly promoted side. They've been up and down in the last few years. We nicked it 3-2 with a rotated team. The youngster Park from Copenhagen got two after an early Rothman penalty. And we did bring on a few of the stars later on. But really solid. We got the result. And that's all that matters when rotating. So let's go and have a look at the fixtures and who we're going to put out today. It will be back to the first 11. It will be as strong as possible. We're coming up against our former player Lucas Lund. Didn't play in our stint at the club. But we did benefit from a sell-on clause for the keeper. So let's see the team that we will put out today. It's going to be a big one for a very big test. We've got Lurche in goal. Of course, no one would expect anything different. Messick comes in for his debut in Europe as centre-half alongside Carter. And Yembi and Schroeder are playing fullback. We've got Carlson, Witt and Harbo the midfield three. Palmer, Beck and Sampaio the front three. And when you add Canel and Real to that squad, it starts to look like a good team, doesn't it? If we look at the bench, we can name a full seven today. And that's with Winther injured and out as well. So we're looking a bit better. We're gradually adding depth. Now we've got to do our talking on the pitch. It's going to be a hard first leg in Sweden, but we're going to give it our all. Let's get into it. What do you think will happen? And let's see how many of you are right. Well, the Hammerby side includes a few familiar names. We've got Charlie Colkett, an English midfielder. We've also got Starfelt, who's at Celtic, playing at centre-half. Lund, we've mentioned in goal. Ross has scored against me when I was in Sweden. I remember the name. There is a very good spine of that team. So this is going to be a difficult test. We've made six changes. They've made five. Both rotating the squads, trying to cope with European football alongside the domestic league. Of course, the benefit in Sweden is the main transfer window is in the winter. So you haven't got to try and build this squad whilst you're going through European qualifying. It's something that we're struggling with with Viborg a little, but we're almost there. We've just got to edge through this one. So let's go and cause an upset. Apparently Hammer be a favourites into the first half. What will the score be? Well, it's been an incredibly quiet first half. It suits us down to the ground away from home. Just noticed a couple of other scores going around. Sinistera playing for Rangers who are one up. 
and Connors Key losing at home to Olympiacos, but done well to get to the second qualifier, as here they come forward for the first time with Rossa, right on the stroke of half time, and that is a great save from Lurche, gets down to his left, holds it as well, and at half time, it's nil-nil, we can't be separated, I'd happily take this back to Denmark. So let's get through the dressing room, keep the lads encouraged and motivated, because they've been doing really well here, and get into the second half, see if we can achieve a miracle. And here we are with 10 minutes gone in the second half as Palmer gets it on the right from Carter. Sampaio loses out in the air, but Vitt wins it back. Playing in that slightly more advanced role today with Carlson stepping into the holding role. And he's won it back for Schroeder, who goes down the left to Beck. Into Sampaio, he's got himself in. And we've nicked a goal on the break. In a very even game, it's similar to Legia Warsaw. We were level at half time in that one. And here we've come out the traps in style. Sampaio looking great up front again. Rangers have got Lucas Moura as well. They really are going big. Connors key two down to Olympiacos. But crucially, we are one goal to the good. Long ball forward by Lurche. Headed away as far as Perry. He goes back to Starfelt as centre half. Of course, this is a full real team. So we're not benefiting from grade out players or anything. Similar to Legia Warsaw. Both leagues are loaded as Perry comes down the right. Gets to the byline. Delivers a good cross. Rossa hits the crossbar with his header. Lurche was beaten, the woodwork wasn't. It stays 1-0 and it's time for changes. Despite Sampaio's goal, he's not played particularly well today. We are struggling a little bit in midfield for legs and I've got to think about the weekend too. So, we are going to go for... Park is going to come on, he's been brilliant recently. Palmer will go off, Sampaio out to the right. I'm going to bring on Jakobsen in midfield. In fact, I'm going to bring Jakobsen on for Messick. I'm going to put Coulson back to centre-half. Vip back to the holding role, set up how we did in the first qualifier. And then I'm going to leave the last one five or ten more minutes, but I think Tobias Beck might have to come off. Fitness is always going to be an issue here early in the season. But at the moment, despite the lesser expected goals, we are 1-0 up. And that's all I care about. Well, coming up to the final ten minutes, Tobias Carlson is taking set pieces. And Carter was found at the back post, but couldn't do anything with it. And now we're subject to the counter. It's a long ball forward. Well defended in the end. And Yembi gets a sliding challenge in too. Jacobson finds him again. Turns back. Just plays the simple ball. Carter picks it up. Carries it into the space. He's chipped it forward towards Park. Knocks it down for Harbo. Falls for Park again rather fortuitously. Gives it to Vitt and Sampaio. Through to Park. The Copenhagen youngster. Can't deliver the finish. It stays 1-0. We really should have taken that. Let's have a look at the final change. I'm not sure who it's going to be. In an ideal world, we take off one of the centre midfielders here because Harbo and Vitt are knackered. But I've got no subs to bring on for them. The only options really are Beck off the left wing and Yembe at right back, but he's had a good game. Look, Beck's knackered. I'm going to take him off for Rothman. Try and add a goal scoring threat. It worked late on in Poland when he nicked us the fourth goal. So let's see if he can do it today. 10 minutes to go. It's been a brilliant away European performance. And it looks like we might nick a 1-0 win. Three minutes of stoppage time. We get through them comfortably. Oh no, we don't. I've celebrated too early. It's a cold kick corner. Oh, great save. Great block from Anyembi from the second one. And those will surely be the final kicks of the game. What a save. What a block. A brilliant defensive performance. That sums up our day at the office. A 1-0 win. Most of these will have to be rested for the derby. So let's see how we get on against Michelin. But we're in a good position for the second leg. Well, I feel like we've been done a bit dirty at the start of the season here. We've got this derby in between the two Hammerby games. We'll then have Copenhagen before our next European game, whatever competition that's in. At least they're going to be fighting in Europe as well. But still, it does seem a little harsh. We've got Winther back fit for 45 if we need him. Two new signings have both got their deals done now. They're into the club, Canel and Real. And we've also had season ticket sales that are up by nearly 500. That's a magnificent effort. So let's get through to the fixtures. It is the derby, but it's not important, to be honest. We have never had a less important game with Michelin. Let's get through to the team selection. There's going to be a lot of changes. Canel and Real will start because they can't play in midweek. And anyone else will get a rest as well. Two sellouts in a row. We're looking pretty good here. Well then, I've gone for the approach of a very rotated side, but game savers if we need them. So Sampaio, Harbo, Beck, all amongst the subs. But our 11 is pretty experimental for a league game. I've taken one slight gamble from the first 11, which is David Palmer. 
The reason being, the next weekend, he's going to be ineligible against Copenhagen. So he's only got to get through these two games. We'll try and give him an hour today. In goal, we're sticking with Lerche. The back four is all change as Burr and Real are the fullbacks with Messick and youngster Mulgaard as centre-half. Winther is in from the start in the holding role. Canell and Jacobson in central midfield. And then Palmer, Rothman and Park the front three. Let's go and get through to the first derby of the season. It's sandwich in European games. It's lost a bit of its edge and importance. But we're still going to give it all we've got. Let's see if these young lads can deliver stardom. Four changes for Michelin, who I presume will have played in Europe in midweek as well. They must be in early. They did. They won 3-1 in a Scandinavian derby as well. So we're both in a similar position here. They've had to make four changes. Placheta would definitely start for them, as would Fernandez, if everyone was fit and it was first team. So we're both making a number of changes. We've both got other priorities. It's a bit of a weird situation. So Palmer and Park, we're looking for stardom from then. Rothman skippers the side and the two new boys making their debut. Who's going to be the hero? Let's get through the dressing room team talk. We'll pump the fist. These games matter. Let's see how we get on in the first half. Which rotated side comes out on top? Well, we're back pretty early in this one as Healy's got a long kick forward after a couple of minutes. It is flicked on, but there's no one there. And Messick does well to mop up. He will be playing in midweek too, so won't do the 90 today. As Burr gives it to Winther, back to fitness. Finds Burr again. Great through ball to Palmer. The one attacking star who we've kept in the team. And he almost delivers an instant reward. Three minutes gone, we've got a corner kick. And given our success from these, might be just as good as scoring a goal. As Cannell delivers to the back post, we know he's got the quality from the dead ball situation. But that one's just headed away. Out for a throw in on the right hand side. An interesting start to this game. And we're back again with almost 10 on the clock as it's another ball forward from the goal kick. Burr heads it away. And runs down the right hand side. He's got space. No one's really closing him down. He gets all the way to the byline. Delivers a cracking cross for Rothman. And although he was stretching. He probably should have done better. Misses the target. It's over the bar. One shot on target apiece. And with 15 gone. It's goalless. And I was almost going to say. That's how it stays to half time. As we're coming forward on the left. Rothman's off the possession. Someone's tried to play offside there. And it has not gone well. But thankfully. The centre forward has done us a favour. Goes round the keeper and then somehow puts it wide. And at half time, it will be nil nil. But that was a scare late on in the half. Been a very even game. Mitchell and playing a bit more of their first team than us. But we've got the big guns to come on later. So if we can stay in the game, the hour mark could be interesting. I'm not pleased with the new left back looking complacent though. Right, we're into the last half an hour. I was about to make subs, but sure enough, we come back for a highlight just as we do. As they're playing out from the back with Holser to Karstenen. Caused us problems at the end of last season. And they are playing well here. But they've given away possession to Jakobsen and Messick. I'm left with a bit of a problem at the back. Because I wanted to take Messick off to rest him. But molgard has been awful. And I feel like I've got to take him off. We might be able to find a way to do it. Of course I could drop Jakobsen into centre half. So there are options. We've not got many central players on the bench. As Winther, another man who's not quite fit and probably needs a break. Finds Real at left back. Takes on his man. Not got to worry about him because he's ineligible on Wednesday. Find Jacobson. Lovely ball forward. Canell can't quite get there. And now it's Mitchelland on the counter. Tarvinanen has got in so many times. Gets through one on one. Lurche lets it in. I made a hash of his name. And Lurche has made a hash of the save. 1 0 Mitchelland. 25 to go. Oh, we're going to end up regretting this. Let's go and make some changes. Hope the big guns can save the day. All changed then. Here's what we've gone for. And Yembi's going to have to do a job at centre half. We've dropped Jacobson in alongside him. Carlson into the holding role. Harbour one in centre mid. And Sampaio and Beck on in the wings. We have gone big with our changes here. We've probably improved the team despite Palmer having to come off. We've got 25 minutes to save the game. I'm going to encourage the boys. So we've got a set piece on the left with Canel. Good delivery. Salisu heads away as far as Beck. Turns on to his left. He's lost it again. I can't remember a game where we've lost the ball so many times in central midfield areas like that. Salisu gets the ball to Muru and Mitchell and do look the stronger. So with the European run coming and without the squad being hugely strong, there is a suggestion it's going to be very hard to hold on to the title because both of us rotating for Europe and they look the stronger. As Salisu gets it into Tarvinen, oh it's a good save. Still making a hash of the name, it's a good save this time though. Lurche keeps it at one. Keeps us in the game. They've got a cross from the right-hand side. Holser takes it. 
Beck heads away. They've made another couple of subs as well. But with 20 to go, we've got to go more positive. We've got to get on the front foot as Oscar Burr throws in to Sampaio. Don't know why they're not calling him Rasmussen this time. Doesn't really make sense. His name changes game to game. But it's cleared away. It's easily dealt with. We don't look like scoring. I hate to say it. I might go attacking in the last 10 just to chase it. Let's see what happens with this one first. Canel nicks it high. Finds Flavio Sampaio. So often the game saver. Did the job at Hammerby. Gets to the byline here. Up to Tobias Beck. Hits the crossbar. Away as far as Real the left back. Gives it to Canel, his fellow new sign-in. And it's back to Carlson. To Canel again. Finds Harbo. Out wide to Burr. We're all over them at the minute. Into Park. Great save from Healy. He's tipped it onto the bar. That is world-class goalkeeping. I don't know what more we can do there. Five to go. We're going attacking. We're demanding more. But I don't think it's coming. Part the striker's now got injured as well. So Paul Muscle is going to be out a while. And we've lost 1-0 in the derby. You can't blame the lads. We had to rotate fully. But let's be honest, they had to do the same. Now it's imperative that it becomes a worthwhile exercise. We've got to beat Hammerby. Or this is a hammer blow. Fitness test time and it's not great news. Park will miss this one and of course it'll be ineligible at the weekend. Winther has continued his comeback in the reserves but isn't quite up to speed. So let's see what side we can put out. We've got a 1-0 lead from the away leg but we've struggled for goals at times this year. So I'm not going to get too excited just yet. Let's get the opposition instructions on. Let's go and pick our 11. We'll be back in a minute to run through the team for this crucial Champions League qualifier. Time for a look at the positives and negatives. I mean, the team is basically what you'd expect it to be. It's as strong as it can be for this one. But look at the bench. Three players that aren't fully fit. Three that are fit include Blaham and Mulgaard, who are basically teenage youngsters with not much experience, and then a goalkeeper in Behrens. The 11, though, is strong. I'm pretty sure it's the same 11 we put out last week. So let's see if against Hammerby we can complete the job and guarantee European group stage football. Fingers crossed, this is huge. Eight changes from the weekend for us. Six for Hammerbeat. We've both had the same idea by the looks of things. So let's forget all about the first leg and approach this with 100% focus. Every player motivated. Excellent. Through the tunnel interview we go into the first half. An early goal, an early nerve settler. Anything to keep us happy. So sell out again at Viborg though. And we're back in the fourth minute with a throw on the left for Schroeder, who of course had a rest at the weekend, as it's flicked into Sampaio and on to Palmer. It's going to stand. It's a cracking goal. Sampaio's role is so underrated there. It was an average cross, but he got across his man Starvel, I think it was. Just flicked it, just glanced it. It wasn't going in, but it allowed Palmer to nick it in front of the fullback. He's been brilliant in Champions League qualifying. Two against Legia Warsaw, one in this game already. And Palmer, I tell you what, he can't play at the weekend, but he might have earned his rest by the end of today. As Rossa picks it up to Orkvist. Game is not over yet. One goal and it's nervy again, as Schroeder does really well to get that back. Lurche's clearance not great though, and Rings put Rossa in. Rounds the keeper. It's 1-1. 2-1 one, one. on aggregate. The tie is level on the night. And we are back in a little bit of bother. One goal away from being pegged back. This could get very tense again. A quick note, as we're back 23 minutes in, Connors Key have just taken the lead at Olympiacos. Why couldn't that happen when we were managing Bangor last year? As Ring's got the ball on the left, crosses to Rossa. We might have bigger concerns now, because it's 2-1 to Hammerby. It's 2-2 on aggregate, and they've got all the momentum. We are in big trouble. Let's try and encourage the lads. We need to get them on board, because the rest hasn't worked at the moment. Well, at half time, we've had the better of the match, but we're not taking chances. So I'm going to tell the lads I'm not happy with what I've seen. I've got them on board again. Connors Key are still winning at Olympiacos. But for us, we've got big concerns. 2 1 down on the night, and at the moment, we're heading to extra time. Well, as Connors Key are finally pegged back, we've got 20 minutes to go, and I think it's time to earn our money here. We have got a knackered Tobias Beck on the left, who's going to be replaced by Rothman. Well, what other options have we got, really? No one's fit. I think I'm going to have to leave it for now. I'd like to make more changes. But we're going to trust these lads. They are our first team. They are our fittest team. And given time, I'm sure they'll score a goal. As Anyembi throw on the right-hand side to Harbo. Finds him again. And Palmer up towards Fit who loses his header. And now we're susceptible to the counter. 
Oh, this is a disaster. They're in one-on-one. -on -one. They could go ahead in a tie. Oh, they have. 3-1 down. And all of those rested players at Michelin is for nothing now. We're going to have to go for it. David Palmer will come off. We'll bring on... Who's... Well, there's no one else even there. It's going to have to be Blaham. We'll put Sampaio out to the right. Vit in the middle is a bit more of a defensive option. What I'm going to do is... Have we got a centre mid? It's going to have to be Jakobsen. Messick off. Carlson centre half. Vit holding roll. We'll leave it at that. We're going to go attacking. We're going to chase the game, but we need a miracle. This has been an awful night. We've got a free kick just a couple of minutes later. Rothman up to Harbo. Heads over the bar from a great position. You can't waste those chances. Look at the stats on the night. How on earth are we 3-1 down? I don't think it's going to happen. We've gone very attacking. We're encouraging into four minutes added on. And despite having all the chances, I mean, this is a proper FM in, isn't it? Two and a half expected goals to 0 0.9 and we're 3-1 down. After such a gutsy away performance, the goals we've given away here. Although, hang on a minute. No. Rothman's got himself in. And it is the slowest, most pathetic back pass in the world. What on earth has happened there? We've got one more chance with Rothman. Through to Sampaio on the right. There's 15 seconds left. Sampaio's got a chance to cross into Jacobson. Oh, he's missed everyone. Rothman had to get something on it. It's back to Schroeder. To Rothman again. Into Sampaio. Get in there. 3-3 on aggregate. 94 minutes gone. Oh, what a moment. We bloody deserved it as well. But seriously... You can't run me like that. The tension is getting to me. And from being devastated with that outcome at half time, we're now delighted with it. Look at the stats. How is it level? We're going to tell the lads we don't like what we saw because it still hasn't been a good performance. And I'm going to make the sub at right back and Yembe for Oscar Burr. He should be fit enough to get through extra time. And hopefully we can find a way to win it. Surely... The weekend off is going to benefit some of these lads as we've got a throw on the left with Schroeder. We've had so many chances. You would expect us to start taking them eventually, particularly against the team that can't defend as low now. As Rothman gets the ball into the box, it's over everyone. Not done well since he's come on, but he did set up the goal. Zampaio releases Burr into Harbo. And again, he's now called Rasmussen today. But Vic gets it as it's a good challenge from Sampaio. He's been great on the right wing. And he's got it again here to the byline. The hero crosses. Rothman's up. Beaten to it by the defender. Headed away as far as Schroeder. Holds the ball up for Carlson. Into Schroeder. And Jacobson. To Rothman. Turns inside. Finds Sampaio. Over the bar this time. I'll forgive him because he's the reason we're here. But we can't waste too many of those. At least if we do get through, we'll have Real and Canel to add to this squad. But for now, with 100 minutes gone, it's still no breakthrough. 3-2 on the night to Hammerby. And I still don't know how. They've not even had a shot since their third goal. Five minutes left. I think we're going to penalties. I'm going attacking to try and prevent it. But it's not going to happen. A penalty shootout will decide whether we're guaranteed European group stage football. It's going to be a long episode, but will it be worth it? Let's set the takers and get into it. Here we go then. We are up first in this penalty shootout. And it's the man who got us here, Sampaio. Oh no. Oh, not that for the start. Flavio Sampaio, straight at the keeper. And Hero turns to villain. Can Lurche spare his blushes? No, he can't. That's a great penalty. Bojanic puts it into the bottom corner. And now it's Tobias Carlson, the best penalty taker on the pitch for us. Can he stop us going two down? Oh God, it's turning into a disaster. Two penalties taken, two penalties saved. And now Colkit has to be saved by Lurche. He has to stop this and he can't. What a way to go out. We absolutely battered them and we're somehow falling apart. Rothman's had an awful game since coming on. Can he score the penalty at least? Oh my God, what a joke. Three taken, three saved, all of them. Very easy for the keeper. I cannot believe it. I cannot, I mean, it sums up the night. The amount of chances we wasted. We shouldn't be surprised we're not scoring penalties. Ring can win it in the first three penalties. It is officially the worst a penalty shootout can go. Three missed, three conceded, and we're out. Look at those stats. How on earth did we lose on the night? Down to the Europa League we go, and we're still going to need to win a tie somewhere. 
Well, the ultimate disappointment to finish. We will be back to play Ferenc Varos of Hungary in the Europa League next time out. It's a horrible start to the league season. Copenhagen and Bromby the next two games. So that's what we're going to show. Bromby at home, Ferenc Varos away in the second leg. It's huge. We have to win a tie somewhere to get into the groups. So let's hope that's the one. If you did enjoy this episode, double heartbreak to finish off then please do add a thumbs up, subscribe for daily content, keep your eyes on the Hemel save, it's a cracking end to the season there, but I can't hide my disappointment in this one. All the key links in the eye above, including the top threes and the Twitch channel, links down in the description to all the other platforms via the link tree, and of course, we'll be back here on Tuesday for Europa League qualifying action. It could have been so much more, it just wasn't to be. Check out the video above my head now, I'll see you again next time.